So looking at, at the root structures of trees, you've got the, the primary, you know, central roots are going to go down, and then you've got the, 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 the 360 circumference around the base of the tree, which are going to go out horizontally, and they're going to shoot down, um, you know, root structures as well. And then um, we'll, we'll get into co collateral um, collateral arteries, which is something that's a it's an uh, anatomical term, which I'll, I'll talk about. But these these can connect to each other. And as we get into the the main topic, this is called spelunking titanic trees. Um, you you'll see why um, the collateral arteries are are of, of interest. All right, and so looking at these tepoise or or the, the the plateaus this is devil's tower and and loads of loads of mountain ranges that look like hollowed out trunks and there's lots of channels showing this and instagram and and pinterest and you know lots of people are um, are fascinated by this and i don't blame them it's a it's it's very fascinating it's hard to imagine how something like that is going to form through tect tectonic activity. In the case of basalt, like the um, like the Devil's Tower, they're saying that that, that is uh, cooling lava, and uh, and and this is this is one of these these tabletop mountains. Another, and some of them just look like fractured tree trunks or you know parts of trees that have that have broken off. And, and when you get up close, you can see the grain and you can see how it's all, it's all, you know, deteriorating and eroding here and just turning to, to sand. So if these great trees were a thing and they somehow got hit by some kind of a major technology and were destroyed, it's, it's not hard to imagine things like the Sahara Desert existing if they're, if they're breaking down to, to sand, as, um, as Ben alluded to in, in that video. And this is a really fascinating thing here also that, that the, a lot of these tabletop mountains around the world, they've got these, these waterfalls, these, these, these water sources, and it's not like there's lots of rainfall that's accumulating here that's, that's causing this just perpetual fountain, right? This is, this is coming from deep in the ground. And, and I believe the terminology that they use for this is artesian wells, that they're, that they're coming up from deep, deep underground sources. And, uh, you know, so you get lots of these examples of these, these tabletop mountains with, with water sources. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not hard, I think, if you just look at this objectively to, uh, imagine that that this could have been a tree at some point it's harder for me to imagine tectonic activity causing something like this because like it's just going to jut upward and all of the all of the lines are going to be parallel to the ground it uh, it doesn't really make sense to me yeah so different uh, examples of this you know and here here this you know, very much looks like root structure. Is this just erosion, or uh, is this is this the remains of the of the roots of the tree? It's hard, you know, it's hard to say for certain. You'd have to get on the ground and and do some investigation, and and uh, who knows, it might uh, might yield something. And lots of these these just massive stones, like I, I think of um, the classic one in Yosemite, Half Dome, and around the world. Uh, Ayers Rock in in, uh, in Australia. It's fun to speculate, but to me, the most compelling evidence is is what I showed you at the very beginning of this video with the song, which is the work of of Hangman One One Two Eight, because um, he gets boots on the ground and he really shows how um, you know how this stuff is manifesting. And let's just go for some of the the better examples of that here. So, you know, this, this, it, to me, it's just obvious that it's tree grain. I'm, I've been kind of going head to head with different people who have very different opinions. And, uh, you know, everyone's got a right to their opinion. I'm not trying to shove my ideas down people's throats. Um, 
But uh, when I see something like this, the, the mainstream petrogenesis explanations fail. They don't make any sense at all. This, this quartz crystal in, you know, in, according to Hangman, and in my opinion, he's, he's perfectly right, our, our petrified sap, and we'll get into the whole sap subject later on. Um, but, you know, these are, these are just perfect examples to me of what our petrified, um, petrified tree, but on a scale that's way beyond what they tell us is, is possible, as being examples of sap. Yeah, so, you know, this, this to me, it's just so obviously would, and, and then this by, by default would need to be a petrified sap. And there are people who have differences of opinion about whether that's possible, and we'll get into that.